Hi guys, welcome back to our systems mini unit. So make sure your name is right here on the front. You can fill in your table of contents. Today we're going to be doing systems algebraically. So we did a bunch of graphing stuff and today we're going to solve them using algebra. So you need just a regular piece of blank paper unless you printed this little PDF out. You don't have to write down the essential question. It's already located on your slides. But basically we wanna look at what are the two ways to solve systems algebraically, how are they done, and then do you have a preferred method? So ladies and gentlemen, to get us started, we're gonna talk about the first method, which is substitution. Um, this is a good method to use when, okay, use when one variable is isolated or could be easily solved for. So use when one variable is isolated or could easily be solved for. All right, the steps we're gonna write down in order to solve it. Um, the first step um, is going to be to go ahead and solve an equation for one variable if it's not already done for you. Then you're gonna go ahead and substitute. That's why it's called the substitution method. Substitute what the variable is equal to. Into the other equation. The third step is you're just gonna go ahead and solve the second equation. The third, or the fourth step is just going to be to plug the value back in to find the other. other variable. And the last step would be to just check your solution. So these steps are here in your notes, so if you need to refer back to them, my writing is very crooked. Okay, so we're going to do an example of this. Okay, so your first example, go ahead and write it down right here. It says y is equal to 2x minus 7 and x plus 7y equals negative 19. So this is review, but we have a system of equations. So they're both equations, no inequalities today. And we're going to use substitution method. You want to use this method if one variable is already isolated. So see how the y right here is by itself. It's already isolated. So what we're gonna do is we're going to follow those steps. The first step is to solve an equation for one variable. We already have that done here, okay? So what it's saying is that y is equal to 2x minus seven. So what we can do, step two, is to substitute it in. So where the y once was, okay, there's a y right here, we can actually plug this 2x minus seven in, okay? So the rest of the equation stays the same x plus seven, but instead of y, we're gonna plug in what y is equal to, and y is equal to two x minus seven, okay? So that's why it's called substitution method, is you're substituting it in. We know y is equal to two x minus seven, so in the second equation, I'm gonna change the y to two x minus seven. And then I'm gonna go ahead and solve. So I see parentheses, so I'm gonna distribute, so I get x plus 14 x minus 49 equals negative 19. I'm gonna combine like terms. So I get 15x minus 49 equals negative 19. Add 49 to both sides to try to get my variable by itself. 15x equals 49 minus 19 is 30. Divide both sides by 15 and we get x is equal to two. 
So we're not done with our problem though. We've After we have solved that equation, that was step three, step four is to plug that value back into one of the two equations. So it doesn't matter which one, I'm gonna plug it into the first one, which is y equals two, but instead of x, I'm gonna plug in two. So y equals uh, four minus seven, y equals negative three. So the way that we write our point, our answer is as a point, so our answer is going to be x comma y, so two comma negative three. Here's how you can check your answer to make sure that it works. You plug it into both of your equations. So instead of y equals two x minus seven, you plug in negative three equals two times two minus seven. You get negative three equals four minus seven. Check that works. And then you plug it into the original equation, uh, second equation, which was two, because that's x, plus seven times negative three equals negative 19. Is two minus 21 equal to negative 19? Check, it works. So you can check your solution by plugging it back in where your x is the first number and your y is the second number. All right, let's go to the second method. So that's the first method, that's the substitution method, okay? Some people have that as their preferred method. I personally prefer the elimination method, that's my favorite method. Um, you wanna use this one when both variables have the same coefficient, or when um, matching variables have the same coefficient or it could be multiplied to get the other one, okay? So use when both variables have the same coefficient or one could be multiplied to get to the other. Okay, all right, so we're gonna write down our steps. So this one's got a little bit more steps. Um, the first step is to just make sure that both equations are in standard form. Standard form is where it's like x plus y equals a number. That would be standard form. There could be coefficients in front of x and y, but that would be standard form. Step two would be to determine which variable to eliminate. So either they have the same coefficient, opposite coefficients, or you could like multiply one to get the other and kind of determine that way. Then you might have to uh, multiply one or both equations. And then you either add or subtract the equations to cancel a variable. Then you would go ahead and solve. Step six is just to plug your value in to find the other. Other variable. And then the last step would be to just check your solution. So we're going to do an example of this. Okay, so those are our steps, and we're going to do an example. Um, our example is 2x minus 5y equals 7, and 2x plus 3y equals 15. Okay? All right. So when you want to use elimination method is when you can easily cancel one of your variables, okay? So if I look at my variables, I have two x's, okay? Right now, two x doesn't cancel two x because two x plus two x is four x. And then we have this negative five y and this positive three y. So when you look at these, you notice, okay, well, the x's at least have the same number in front. So that's the one I'm gonna try to cancel. 
Um, the way that you could kind of go about it would be to multiply one of them by negative one. It honestly does not matter which one. I could have multiplied the top one by negative one. I'm going to multiply the bottom one by negative one. Um, when I do that, I would get negative 2x minus 3y equals negative 15. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the um, polynomial or the equations together and my x's will cancel. I'll be left with negative 8y equals 7 minus 15 is negative 8. Divide both sides by negative 8 and I get y is equal to positive 1. Once you know one variable, you just have to plug it back in to find the other and it doesn't matter which one you plug it into. So I'm going to plug it into the top one. 2x minus 5 times 1 equals 7. 2x minus 5 equals 7. Add 5 to both sides. I get 2x equals 12, which means x equals 6. So for my answer, I get x, which is 6, and y, which is 1, and that's just my answer. I could always check to make sure that it works, okay? Um, we get x is, remember, x is the number 6, y is the number 1. So I'm going to plug those into the equation. So the first equation was 2, oops. First equation was 2 times x, so it would be 2, 6, minus 5 times y, which would be 5 times 1 equals 7. Uh, is 12 minus 5 equal to 7? Check, it works for the first equation. If I plugged in for the second equation, it would be 2 times 6, plus 3 times 1 equals 15. Is 12 plus 3 equal to 15? Check, it worked. So it could happen where you actually have to multiply by a number, um, but you want to try to get them to be the same number, one positive, one negative, so that you can get them to cancel. Um, these notes go in on slide 9. Um, you did the substitution method, goes on the left. The elimination method goes on the right. Here's what you're going to title in your table of contents. Um, there's a sticky note for questions and your summary. The essential questions are already there. Get your two pictures taken in now, and then you're going to practice on Khan Academy. That's it.